Hello everyone, Soft Kitty here. In this video, I will show my servo controller that is compatible with SimTools. Unlike those Arduino-based solutions, this one uses a PLC, short for Programmable Logic Controller. This one can run four servo motors, especially suitable for the SFX100 layout. Its status and settings can be seen and changed on the touch panel. Let me show you the startup sequence. Start page, enter the control panel. Here in the middle, you can set the stroke, speed, and response of the servo motors. And on the left side, this image indicates four of the actuators we have on the rig. Right now, it's blinking red because every time we power those on, they don't know their top or bottom end. So we have to conduct initialization. Each actuator will roll to its bottom end. And I'm using magnetic switches to detect the slider inside. You might know some controller detect this by the current surge of the motor when the slider actually crashed to the end. I can do the same but one of the reasons is the servo I'm using do not have the current feedback and personally I don't like the mechanical hard bump. Okay so when all the ends are found, the dots turn green and we are ready to go. When game starts, the controller will detect the PC input and let the motors follow the movement. Let's see more about the device itself. It uses a 24 volt DC power supply and this 8 output port marked with Y are for sending commands to the four motors and those four brown wires are connected to the magnetic switches. It communicates with PC by this USB to RS485 adapter. Here in SimTools X assignments, you can see I'm sending all four DOF data with 100% to the PLC. The benefit of this is you can tune those factors on the touch panel even when the game is running. And some of you might know the output from SimTools for each X are numbers from 0 to 1023. If you set 100% in SimTools, the output will be divided into 1023 little steps. However, in most cases, the percentage is not that much. For example, you set pitch by 10%, then the whole pitch range will be sent out by only 102 steps. You will lose details and the movement becomes bumpy. I have also added a filter function, which can cut off the sudden changes to protect your rig. If there are any other essential functions you can imagine, let me know. And by the way, this device is also pretty affordable. The PLC plus this 4.3 touch panel are less than $200. I'm developing more features with the technicians of the PLC manufacturer. Please share your thoughts and advice. I will keep improving. Thank you and see you next time.